really off guard. Oh, hey guys. Hey, welcome. Come on in. I'm Janet from Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty. Welcome to my studio. Come on, keep coming in. Pile on in, guys. I am so glad you're here, and I am thrilled to be a part of this Christmas in July collaboration. Wasn't Cindy's creation gorgeous? You just saw her right before me. So anyways, what I'm working on today is what they refer to as a walnut hollow basswood. I picked it up at Michael's. So this is a little something different um, than my typical, uh, you know, acrylic pours. This is going to be a creation that I make on this, this piece of wood. Uh, sketching out a tree and then I will be taking my hot glue gun and going over that sketch once that glue has cooled and sat for about an hour or so then I'll be applying three um, layers of gesso and the reason for that is so that the paint that I'll be using today will be sticking on to uh, the, uh, the glue so that it's real important to get that gesso and get that uh, coverage over the glue so that the paint will stick. So I had a lot of fun. Um, what I'm working on today is actually my second attempt. My very first attempt <laughs> didn't turn out very well. Um, my husband says that really doesn't look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> he says, although it does remind, uh, it did remind him of uh, this big, huge that Christmas tree we had one year and there's a funny story about that tree and I'm probably going to share that with you today. So in the interim, um, like I said, we'll be working on this today. I fast forward a lot of it. It's done in segments. Um, you know, you, you do the sketch, you do the gesso, uh, the hot glue, then you do the gesso and then you do your paint and uh, you wait for the layers of your paint to dry. So all of the colors and everything that I've used on this today are uh, going to be in the description box down below. So please click on that. Check uh, the description box out. Also, you'll find the links to everybody in the train in that description box also. So um, with that said, I'm going to get you on down to the table, guys. Let you see what I'm creating here. It turned out really cool. I really, really like it. Um, I hope that you do too. And I'm going to tell you that story about that Christmas tree and the cherubs. It's really a cool story. Kind of funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny in the moment, but it's funny now. <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I've already sketched out my uh, tree. And now I'm beginning to do the uh, process with the hot glue gun. So, and I'm not going over every single line that I sketched. It was just basically done for a guide. Um, and I am leaving some space in between the strips of glue that are uh, being laid down there. So, um, and I typically allow for the glue to dry and completely cool down. I think I let it set for more than an hour or so before I went back in and began my layering of my gesso. And I don't show you all me doing all three layers in this video, but you'll get the gist of it. And you've got to just be sure that you've done uh, full coverage of the glue with the gesso. You don't have to necessarily gesso the entire piece um, of the flat, you know, the, the wood where it looks kind of white. But I went ahead and I did, as you can see. Um, and anywhere that I put paint, I put gesso. So, um, and it's a process, but it's a lot of fun. And again, like I said, that gesso, let it dry in between layers. And then I waited actually uh, until the next day to actually apply my paint. So, but getting on to my story, guys, this is really funny. Um, one year when my husband and I first moved here to the Orlando area, um, we were in a rental home, and it was a tiny little house. I mean, tiny, tiny, tiny little house. Um, I, you could basically jump across <laughs> from one end to the other. It was little. And being that I'm, I was really from the north, and this was my first time, you know, down here living in the south, um, I still believed in, in getting a real Christmas tree. And I loved my Christmas trees to be really, really full. 
Well, this particular year, we went out and we went and did our Christmas tree shopping. And I picked out the biggest, the most fattest Christmas tree ever. <laughs> My husband kept trying to remind me of how small the living room was. But no, I was stubborn. I wanted that tree because it was the perfect tree for me. So we brought it home and we put it into the living room. And guys, this tree took up probably three quarters of the living room. I kid you not. It was huge. So, and that year we were having my husband's family over for Christmas on Christmas Day. So he, he just kept shaking his head going, I don't know where we're going to fit everybody. So, um, <laughs> but it was really funny. But anyways, so up goes the tree. Um, that same year, um, out doing our holiday shopping, I came across these cute little teeny tiny cherubs. There were like 350 of these little cherubs in a box. They're little plastic cherubs, and they were with all the Christmas decor, and they were glow in the dark. And I thought, oh, how cool would that be to have these little teeny tiny Christmas cherubs at the tips, you know, of all my Christmas tree, at the tips of the branches, so I painstakingly <laughs> spent quite some time situating these little cherubs on the end branches of this Christmas tree. <laughs> and, oh, I was so excited. I turned every light on in the house that I could um, just to make sure that they pick up enough light. Um, so in the evenings after, you know, it got dark outside, I could turn all the lights off, even the lights off on the Christmas tree and watch these little cherubs glow. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was so, and I was so, so, so proud of this Christmas tree. Um, I had over, and I'm not, I'm not lying. This is when I, I used to do my um, uh, crazy little cutesy ornaments on my tree. And I had, you know, probably upwards of 400 ornaments on this tree, plus the 350 little cherubs. I mean, this tree was decked out to the kill, guys. I mean, decked out. So, um, anyways, <laughs> push comes to shove. I would say probably a few days before Christmas, um, well, actually the week before Christmas, um, it was in the middle of the night, and I heard my husband all of a sudden start Cussing, okay? <laughs> I mean, every cuss word known to man, kind, came out of that man's mouth. And I couldn't understand what was going on. So I got up and I went out into the hallway. And sure enough, the tree had toppled over. And when it fell, it fell across the doorway of the hallway to the bedrooms into the living room. And in, in his sleepy stumber to go get something to drink in the middle of the night... <laughs> He tripped over the Christmas tree. And so I came in at about the point where he had the front door open and tree was picked up. And I walked out into the living room just in time to see him throw the entire tree, lights, decor, everything. <laughs> out the front door. That tree went out the front door three more times before Christmas morning. Because, yes, it fell three more times. He was so angry because he blamed it on the cherubs. And needless to say, <laughs> um, I didn't have quite as much ornaments or cherubs on the tree come Christmas morning. But that tree on Christmas morning, everywhere there was a cherub, had brand new growth like this lime green color growth at the end of the branches and it rooted inside its stand. So that tree was determined to grow and that tree was determined <laughs> it was going to stick around for a while, despite the fact that it ended up in the front yard three times before Christmas morning. So needless to say, I didn't ever put the cherubs back on the tree. Um, I don't even know that I still have them. I think eventually we just kind of threw the box away because we felt, you know, he felt it was a bad omen. But our tree fell over like three times before Christmas that, and, and he tripped over it all three times. Why he didn't anchor it to the wall is beyond me, but we won't go there with him. <laughs> I didn't certainly go there with him on that during that time either, but... Um, since, and I think that was the last year we actually had a live tree. Um, any, uh, after that we bought artificial 
treatment. <laughs> so it's a lot easier, less of a mess to clean up. So here you have it, guys. This is my creation. Um, here I take you in for a little bit of a close-up. The lighting was really hard. I used metallic colors in this. And then the little Christmas balls and the garland were made with a, a glitter paint from Deco Art. And again, all of that's in the description box down below. So feel free to take a look at that. And um, so I hope you enjoy. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm just so in love with this. I think it's just the neatest thing ever. Look at that. And it kind of gives you a 3D look. It's textured. Um, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. So, and that 24 karat gold, just oh, look at the shimmer on that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, guys, so there we have it. <laughs> My creation. Absolutely love it. Love the shimmer. Love how well it came, came out. Um, you can put on the back one of those um, sawtooth things with the screws to hold, you know, for a nail so that you can hang this either um, on a door or you can hang it on a wall or you can put it in a decorative easel for a coffee table or a nightstand wherever you want put it in your home when you uh, do your decor for christmas um, some other ideas would be a christmas wreath maybe some christmas bells reindeer santa's face the grinch scrooge <laughs> whatever christmas christmas stocking would look really cool also so lots of possibilities, lots of possibilities. So I hope you enjoyed my stories. <laughs> and this was the first one. Yeah, see, no, uh-uh. <laughs> no, no, this is what we were going for. Much better. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thanks for joining me in my studio today. Again, a privilege to be a part of this um, collaboration. So now we're gonna head over to Amy's at Amy's Acrylics Artistry. And until next guy time, guys, stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.